We're going to talk today all about the Louis Vuitton Easy Pouch on a Strap Bag. I have talked about this previously. I did a video. I'll link it. And in that video, I talked about pretty much how I came to the conclusion that I wanted this bag, what was my thought process behind it, and how I ended up getting it. And it's a really fun bag, but I've had this bag now for about 10 months now. So we're going to do a little update video and we're going to talk about what fits inside the bag as well. Welcome to the Mom's Guide to Glam. As a mom, we sometimes kind of lose ourselves, right, with our kids, and it's really easy to do so, but this channel will help you slowly regain your glam back, your pink, as they're saying it nowadays. So today we're gonna talk all about this amazing Louis Vuitton Easy Pouch on a Strap Bag. This, I actually said, is one of my favorite mom bags, and we're gonna get into that. Uh, what I wanna do first is I wanna actually talk about the bag itself. So whenever I go to buy a bag, it is a very well thought out process. The reasoning for that is designer bags are a lot of money, right? They're not something that should be taken very lightly. I feel like it's a, it's a process and it's a very intense decision making process, especially for me. I always try to get bags that are bags I know I'm gonna use, number one, and number two, a bag that's gonna go with my lifestyle and go with my lifestyle for a long time. I have bought designer bags previously where I have ended up selling them and that was okay, but I really want to make sure I get bags that I know I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna love, and I'm gonna have for a long time or know I'm gonna have it for quite a bit. And it's gonna move with me and my lifestyle. So when I was looking for another Louis Vuitton bag, this is my latest purchase, by the way. This is the latest bag that I bought from Louis Vuitton. Um, I knew, first of all, that I wanted to buy this bag from the Louis Vuitton store. I knew I wasn't gonna buy this bag uh, in a pre-loved market, which we're gonna talk about that in the upcoming videos. I wanted to buy this brand new. I also knew that I wanted a bag that was gonna be more of a minier bag. So I have big bags and the reason for that is I'm a mom. I like to carry all my stuff with me, all my kids stuff with me. It's just kind of a no brainer, right? But when I started to think thought process, I started to go, okay, I wanna have a bag that I know that I can carry with my kid, without my kid, and that it's gonna fit my stuff in it that I need to, to go. And I really wanted a bag that I could wear if I was gonna dress up for an event, um, if I had some kind of thing to go to a wedding, but a bag that I knew could fit my essentials in there if I needed to go run errands. So that's where I came up with the conclusion that this bag was gonna be perfect for me. I had looked again at all kinds of Louis Vuitton bags, but this really struck me and stuck out to me. The other thing I wanna mention is this is in the En Pronte leather, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is a bag that I also was debating color because it comes in a couple different colors, turtle dove, black, and then the white cream. And I think that as a mom, especially, or as someone who's even just a clumsy person, buying a cream bag is just a disaster. I just don't think it ever goes well. But for some reason, I said, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance because I really want something that is a lighter color leather that I can wear all year, summer, winter, doesn't matter. And I was really thoughtful in my process because I knew that this bag was probably gonna have color transfer. That's the one thing you gotta worry about with lighter color bags. If you don't know, even the canvas, the coated canvas, you have to worry about color transfer in bags. And that's why you always should avoid white or cream bags. But your girl's a risk taker and decided, you know what? I don't have any bags this color. I've never had any bags this color. I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna take a chance. So. I've had this bag now for 11 months. Let me tell you why I love it so much and why I use it. Recently in the upcoming months, I've had a career shift and um, I actually am a live TV shopping host. So like QVC, uh, that's where you typically see me. So I actually fly every other week to the studio to film. And one thing I've noticed with flying is I like to be as compact as possible. I do have to bring like my iPad with me and my Kindle and I do bring like my laptop on some occasions. So I do bring a book bag. And with that being said, with a personal item, when you're flying, you can only have one personal item, and one carry on. So the book bag is my personal item and I like to have a bag within a bag, if you will. 
a little pocketbook. That way I know my wallet and everything, my essentials, my key badge, like everything's in here, but it's also fits in my book bag. So I have combined one item when I get on the airplane. And this is again, really easy to take and travel and go. Uh, so that's one reason I love this bag and I've been using it the most. The other thing is this Empronte leather, even though it is that cream, right? And it's a little scary to travel with this and it's really scary to, to carry. Out of 11 months, the only thing I've noticed is this little piece right here. I've been really, really, really fortunate that I have not had as much wear and tear. Even the corners are really beautiful. Now, again, I treat my bags pretty well uh, for the most part. I don't baby them, but I treat them pretty well. So I've tried to wear this bag only with items that I know are not gonna have any kind of uh, dark dye in them and have that color transfer. So I typically wear this with items like t-shirts and stuff that I know just aren't gonna color transfer. The other thing about this bag is it has multiple ways to wear it and that's why it makes it so phenomenal. It actually has a couple of ways. So number one is the long strap. So this strap is actually genius. Louis Vuitton, you're genius. Chef's kiss on this. It can be worn actually three different ways. So this bag right here has a longer strap that disconnects right here and you move it all the way. So it creates a really nice crossbody bag. It fits really nice around the body. It feels good. It looks good. And it's very comfortable to wear. The strap does not dig into your shoulder. But let's say you're like, I like this, but I want to wear this bag as a shoulder bag. Well, you can. What you're going to do is you're going to take these two pieces and they both have buckles on them. You'll see that. You're going to actually move them like this all the way down. And when you do, it shortens the length of the bag strap and you just snap them. And there you go, it's like a double strap shoulder bag. Cute, right? But let's say you're going to like a fancy event. You're like, I'm going to a fancy event. I don't want this shoulder strap or I wanna exchange and change out the strap. You can do that. You actually have little hooks right here that you unhook the strap. And the strap also comes with this beautiful gold chain. And this gold chain I actually leave out of the bag just as like a little decor piece. If you're doing that, you actually can strap it to this little D-ring right here, which is so fun. But I leave this on as a cute little attachment. You don't have to do that. You can actually take this gold strap off of the bag and not have anything. I've done that before. But then you have this little evening bag. How cute is this? You can take it and look, just wear the gold strap. This is such a versatile bag. It's tiny, but it's very powerful uh, as a tiny bag. And I knew when I was researching this bag that I was gonna be able to wear this multiple ways and I loved that. Outside of the bag, you're getting this little D-ring, you're getting this flap right here. Now I will say, I'm not a big fan of flaps on Louis Vuitton bags. I think they're weird, they tend to stick out, which mine does, but I've just lived with it and I just know it is what it is. I wish they wouldn't make these though, they're weird, but it says Louis Vuitton on there, Louis Vuitton Paris, uh, made in France. That has a little bit of wear on it, but not so bad. On the inside of the bag, all you're getting is just a big pouch, right? No kind of pockets, nothing in there. I do have a little bit of wear and tear from the inside just because I put everything in there. I don't have an organizer for this bag. I don't even know if they make one. I would love that. Uh, I tend to get organizers, but the inside's really cute. It's actually striped and I love that it's the cream color. Amazing bag, I've worn this, 10 out of 10 would recommend, but let's talk about what I put inside of the bag. Very strategic when I pack this bag. I have to think, where am I taking this bag? Am I going day to night with this bag? Am I only wearing this bag to go get groceries? Am I traveling with this bag? What am I doing? So I'm very strategic, but I know always I'm gonna take my wallet. And one thing about me that you gotta understand is again, I'm a very compact person. I actually have a zippy wallet. That was bought for me for Christmas about, I think five years ago. And as soon as I pulled the wallet out, I immediately put it back and I, I actually returned the wallet back to Louis Vuitton and used that credit to get a bag. Because I knew I wasn't gonna use a big wallet. I'm not a big wallet person. And to this day, my husband's like, don't you want a wallet? I'm like, nope. My wallet that I carry, it's my favorite thing ever. This is my Louis Vuitton Key Clay. I use it as a wallet. So I have my cards in here and my money in here. 
I love this thing. And my mom, who's an artist, used leather paint and painted that on for me. So I love it. Anyways, it's my favorite thing. It's what I've carried for the past probably 10 years, ever since I got a designer bag. I've had this and it's been probably my most used designer piece ever. I never use this though because this D-ring has unhooked from things so many times and dropped, it's a whole thing. So I don't use this little thing, but anyways, this is what I use. So I know for a fact this is gonna stick in all of my bags no matter how big or small the bag is. So this fits really, really, really nicely in that bag and I have room to spare. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit my phone in there. And I do this strategically. I always put my wallet first and then my phone because I am not a person who carries her phone. I like my phone to be in my bag when I'm moving and grooving. So this is actually the new iPhone 15 Pro Max. So this is quite a large phone as you can see, but this is still gonna fit in the bag, which is nice. So I'm gonna slide this guy with a little maneuvering right into the bag beside the wallet. Now. As you can see, I've got my phone, I've got my wallet, I have a little bit of room to spare. So what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna put in a hand sanitizer. I believe hand sanitizer is like the key. I love it, so I'm gonna slide that right in, standing it up right there. This is the Touchland, by the way. I'll link it in the description down below. And then last but not least, I'm gonna put some kind of lippy in there, something, and for today, we're going with the, um, Tarte Maracuja Lip Plump. I love these. This is in the shade Cherry Blossom. Again, I'll have it linked down below. It is delicious. It's so good. I'm gonna slide that in right on the top of the bag right here. And so we're pretty packed full. If you're someone who carries sunglasses and all that, which I'm not a person who really wears sunglasses out and about, I just wear them in my car, you're gonna have a little bit of problem with that. But otherwise, that is basically all I'm gonna fit in there for today and it zips up really nice. As you can see, the shape is beautiful. It's not stretching out this bag at all. Maybe in the back just a little bit. It's kind of puffy because of my phone, but otherwise it fits really nice in this bag and I go. Again, this is the bag that I only use for essential items. If I am just running out and about, this is not the bag that I sit there and I go, okay, how can I fit my whole life into this? Or let me just throw things in the bag. That's the bag that I have my never full for and the Speedy Bandolier 35. That's why I have that bag. So I could throw stuff in there and go and not worry and pack on my kids stuff and this stuff. But as a mom who likes something to just use for running errands, picking up from school, traveling. Again, this is the bag I use traveling too. This is it. I cannot recommend this bag enough. I really thought it was gonna be a very hit or miss with me. I did do a lot of research, like I said, but I thought maybe this bag is gonna be a bag that I'm gonna go, nope, don't like, don't want, I can't use it. It's just gonna sit in my collection for a while until maybe I have a special event and then I'll use it, but otherwise I'm not gonna use it. No, this bag has been used so much for the past 11 months. I've had it, 10 months I've had it, however long. Um, and it is such a beautiful bag. I highly recommend. If you have any questions about the easy pouch on a strap bag, please let me know in the comments. You guys have the best questions down below on the last video, so let me know. And if you don't already do so, please make sure to subscribe. I would love to have you guys following my channel as we walk through, again, amazing items for moms and to help moms get their glam back. So I love this. All the things I said are gonna be in the description below. You gotta click the little three dots, but let me know what you guys think. It is my favorite. Until the next one, I'll see you guys very soon. Go subscribe. Bye.